Greetings, greetings, my lovely Aries people. I am back to do an energy reading for my lovely Aries people in the area of love and romance. So just a quick energy check to touch base with you, Aries, to give you some messages for love and romance. And so let's do a 48-hour love and romance energy reading. And let me get spirit in the space, my lovely Aries. Hope that you all are doing fine. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you here. Please subscribe so that you can become part of the tribe and be a part of any messages that come out from this time forward. If you are returning, thank you for your support. I truly appreciate you and welcome back. This is a general message. So if you find that the messages here don't resonate with you, please don't panic. You'll want to make sure you're subscribed so that future messages that come forward that do resonate for you, you'll be first in line to receive them. All right. With all that being said, let's get our messages on the board for Aries Spirit. Right. And let's get our clarifying messages. This right off the bat, I can tell you this message is for any of you Aries that have been in situations where you've been waiting to hear from the one that you desire, the one that you love, like you've, you've either gone through a situation where there's been some kind of rift or argument or fight where you haven't been speaking or you've been caught in a period of no contact where there's been no communication. So this is going to be the message for you. So the first message comes by way of the Eight of Wands. And I do see communication coming in, um, probably by way of text, um, possibly email, um, but is coming in rather quickly and unexpectedly. It kind of hits you by surprise. I do see this as a sudden burst of energy. So that's why there is a surprise factor there that's really striking me with that eight of wands the ace of swords being in the reverse it is hitting me though that this message even though you will be happy to see it and the message appears to be very forthcoming as far as its contents like what the message actually says seems to be exactly what you've been waiting to hear you should be questioning the, the contents, the truthfulness of what is being said. And that's further being backed up by the magician in reverse because what I'm seeing here is someone who is sending a message to manipulate a situation to their advantage, okay? So the the truthfulness of the message, there is a lot to question there. They are using their words to position you in a way that they can best use you to their advantage. Again, further being backed up by this page of swords in the reverse. And it is a very immature type of action, mature immature type of energy um, being thrown at you here. Um, if you are actually, if you take the emotion out of the way 
Aries, if you take your emotion out of the way and really logically look at what's being said, what's being done and how it's being done here, you will be able to easily discern that. So once the initial message comes through and then the follow-up conversation that you have, especially the follow-up conversation with this magician in the reverse, I think you will easily be able to discern what it is um, that this person is trying to set you up for, okay? So here I see you taking the step to follow up with the conversation. And again, this person positioning you in terms of taking advantage of you. And I really see this as taking advantage of you physically, um, you know, setting it up so that they could get with you sexually, physically, um, setting up something that they can come in, have a hot night um, of romance, of lovemaking, that kind of thing. And it, it turns into something that basically they want to hit it and quit it. So in the door and back out. And with this justice being in the reverse, this sets up a situation where things, again, become very unbalanced and not in your favor. It's, it's, it's them taking, taking, taking from you and you ending up in this energy of depletion, okay? And in this state of the Nine of Swords where you're back into anxious energy because something's been taken from you and now you end up thrown back into this situation where you are once again waiting to hear from this person, wondering what's happening, wondering what's going on. So 48 hours, things turn around to the point of you get the communication you want that you've been waiting for. Um, you potentially ignore the red flags of this person's selfishness and setting you up for the okie doke. And then they're right back out the door again after they get what they want. So, wow, Aries, this is a situation that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Be careful with this. This is something this is one of those things where I say tarot is incredibly helpful um, because situations like this, you don't have to fall for it. Like the tarot can give you the warning and you can completely change this, right? So you use the tarot as a roadmap and you say, all right, given the current energies, this is how this situation can play out. But now that I know this, I can completely go down a different road or I can completely change this and I can change this to my advantage by, you know, demanding the truth, number one, or just refusing to engage in the communication, right? So I can change the outcomes here and make this a happier outcome for myself, or I can just avoid this whole path altogether, right? So this is where the tarot and the tarot readings have their true power, um, so Aries, again, to be forewarned is to be forearmed, be safe out there, be careful, and I wish you all the best. And until next time, take care.